snow. Welcome to another channel update.
they are changing all the time and they are changing fast so when I went to bed yesterday there was no snow on the road it's just wet, uh, wet tarmac and when I woke up to this morning there was about 30 to 40 centimeters of snow and now that the snow has packed together it's getting really slippery because the temperature is around zero degrees so when the, uh, the packed snow gets heated up it gets super slippery so now I'm driving pretty steep and and uh, if this wheel are on the 80 tires I will be really cautious and driving even slower than I'm doing now I'm only doing 40 in a 50 kilometer zone just to be be safe but with 80 tires I would have gone a much much slower so the main reason for me driving on wanted to drive on winter tires not 80 tires are changing conditions they change so fast so I need to know I need to get to work I need to get home I need to get to the kindergarten and yeah so and also I want my family to be safe so some may say that 80 tires are good tires they are and they are really good on just snowy conditions like if there's minus three degrees or colder uh, they're pretty good and on like on solid uh, snowy roads they're really good but when you come around zero degrees and driving on this ice and uh, hard pack snow they are really dangerous so if you experience that kind of conditions I wouldn't recommend getting 80 tires for that So, I can see it driving from snowy roads to just slush. And that's, this is also the reason why I went for the narrower tires, because there's, the conditions are often like this. And to get aquaplaning is really dangerous. If you get it on water, if you get it on this kind of uh, snowy slush, it's even worse. So, yeah, just lose total control. Hey guys, back in the office finally. I uh, haven't been here too much lately because of a lot of stuff that's been going on. I, uh, I also took a week of vacation with the family going up north uh, in the north of Sweden where my parents-in-law has a beautiful cabin. It's a winter wonderland where we can go just play in the snow, skiing and snowmobiling. Yeah. 
So that's it's just perfect place. Uh, I'm gonna make a separate video on that, just a short one, showing you all how beautiful and how much fun you can have up there. Uh, yeah. So came back from the vacation after a week. Uh, didn't feel too good. Morning after felt horrible, and now I've been sick for a week. So uh, finally feeling better and getting back to, to work and getting back to editing. Trip news. So we are planning a trip in the start of May. Uh, for now it's me, Ørjan and Erik. Uh, me and Ørjan are going to start from Trondheim and Erik is going to start in Stavanger. We're going to spend the first, um, the first day driving uh, against each other and we're going to meet in the middle. Uh, it's going to be just south of Jotunheimen. Uh, and it's going to be a, a great 5-6 days of overlanding with a lot of mountain ranges and uh, small narrow roads. We're not sure we're going to get through all the roads because they can be blocked by snow. But we are hoping that uh, most of the roads that we are planning are open or can be driven. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm going to post some upcoming videos, uh, some build up for that trip uh, where we film what we need to do to fix the cars and yeah, preparations I guess. Thanks for watching to the end, really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe and smash that like button and if you have any feedback or questions just write it in a comment down below starting to lose my voice so I'm just gonna say see you in the next one